pages. And uh, we, we see a few things in here. And it really makes us think. You know, in this, in this video, there was this dire need. There was something wrong. There was trouble. There was this emergency that this train filled with hundreds of people was going to just go off the track into the water. And, and, and these hundreds of people would just face death. Um, and with this, we see the sun, right? He's there fishing. The sun springs into action. And he's willing to risk his life, sacrificing it for others. And then we see the father, uh, who deeply loves his son. Uh, he too, regardless of this love he has for his son, lowers the track and he sacrifices his own beloved son so the people on the train could live. And although it's imperfect because it's a parable and it's, it's something on earth and human, it gives us a glimpse, a picture of the love that the Father and the Son have toward us. You know, isn't this what Jesus did? He laid down his life for us. He took the punishment for our sins upon himself. He took the wrath of God upon himself. Uh, he paid a debt we cannot pay so that we could live. Isn't this Jesus facing agony of the cross? He said, Father, if it is your will, take this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Isn't this just a picture of Jesus and what he did for us? Isn't this a picture of our Heavenly Father of carrying out John 3.16, that most famous verse we read before, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Christ had to die. Now, there's a reason the day on which Jesus was murdered is called Good Friday. There's a reason that it's called good. Because through the cross, sinners find the way of salvation. Through belief in Jesus and His work on the cross, we find the only way of salvation. The only way to be cleansed from our sins. The only way to escape hell. The only way to be accepted into heaven by the Father. Jesus says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And this video is a small picture of the incredible love of God. The love spoken about in Romans 5, 8, another verse we read, which says, But God demonstrates His own love toward us, then, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. At the cross, we find the perfect love of God poured out onto the lap of humanity. It's an incredible work. But with that, we see something else in this video parable. And, that, you know, what are the people on this train doing in regard to this incredible sacrifice? And for the most part, nothing. They're carrying on. They're distracted. And that is sadly the story, um, you know, when it comes to the greatest sacrifice ever. Although people know about it. People on that train didn't know. Um, but, you know, what, what do people normally do when, when, when they think about Christ and what he did? Often, sadly, it's nothing. And especially here in America, where we're so blessed, this is the greatest country in the world, we have so many things. We're just so distracted. You know, just like people on that train, people go through their lives doing things. We see on the train, some people were doing bad things. Some people were just doing normal things, carrying on. But all of them are distracted, and they don't grasp what really happened. They don't grasp the magnitude of what the Father and the Son did for them. That Father and that Son, they, they gave up the Son's life for these people. You know, the lady who was hooked on drugs, she looked out the window and got a glimpse, and that was it. And that's the point here on this Good Friday. You know, are there some of us who are missing the magnitude of the cross? What Good Friday and Easter is all about? May we realize, you know, what the cross truly means. Uh, what the Father did for us, sending His Son to die for us, the magnitude of it, that He sent His only begotten Son to die for us, that the Son willfully went to the cross so that we could live. You know, Christ's sacrifice is the only way for us to be forgiven and given eternal life. And that Father again in that video had to sacrifice His Son, yet no other choice there uh, for, for, in a way that the people on the train could live. And you know, that is what God did for us. And you know, what amazing love as we think of this as it's Good Friday. What, what amazing love God has toward us. What an amazing sacrifice and what an incredible God we serve who loved the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him will be saved from the clutches of hell and instead be given eternal life with Him forever. And because of the love of Christ, Good Friday is truly good. It is the greatest sacrifice, it's the greatest victory, it's the greatest love. And may none of us uh, let the magnitude of this uh, pass us by this day. Okay, I got a uh, couple of readings for you guys. The uh, first one is from Matthew chapter 27, verse uh, 27 to 31. Some of, some of the governor's 
soldiers and took Jesus into their headquarters and cut off the entire regiment. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. They wove thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head. And they placed a reed stick in his right hand as a scepter. Then they knelt before him in mockery and taunted, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit on him and grabbed the stick and struck him on the head with it. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off the robe and put his clothes on him again. Then they led him away to be crucified. And then finally the second, which is from Mark chapter 10, verse 45. It says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. It just is amazing what God can do. He came and died for our sins. He gives us eternal life, but that life starts now when we put our trust in Him, and there's nothing too hard for Him. Um, uh, we have for refreshments downstairs for any who want to stick around. You're welcome to stay, so hope you can hang out for a while. Also, um, Easter, after Easter, we're having a potluck. Um, everybody's welcome. If you, what are you supposed to bring? There's some type of guidelines for something. You could bring a warmed crock pot because no one's going to be downstairs warming food up. So you can bring something warm, and, or you can bring something cold, or you can bring a dessert. Or you can bring nothing. Or you can um, bring nothing. There's always plenty of food. So <laughs> if you want to come, don't worry. We're not, there's no checklist. Just come if you want to come hang out with us. And that's Sunday. Service is, starts at 11. So mm -hmm. uh, let's pray. Lord, we thank you. Lord, I thank you for each and every person who came here tonight. Lord, we, I just pray your hand of blessing on each one. And uh, Lord, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, that we are all created in your image. Lord, uh, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You love each one of us, Lord. You went to the cross uh, for a purpose, Lord. Um, and you shed your blood. And uh, all those things about Good Friday, taking the sins, the wrath of God upon yourself. You did that for each one of us, Lord. And God, I just pray you'd work in each each heart here, Lord. I pray if there are any here who don't know you, Lord, I just pray, God, that you would open their heart, Lord, and pray that they would yield to you. And uh, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for Good Friday. We thank you as believers. We could look at a day in which you were murdered and we can see the good in it, and the greatest good of all, that although we were sinners, yet you died for us. And uh, Lord, Lord, be with us as we go from this place, Lord. Again, may you bless each one here. Uh, families, Lord, during this weekend, some will be traveling. I pray you would watch over them, Lord, and be with them. And God, may all of us just sense your mighty presence and uh, just uh, get a grasp of uh, the importance of what this weekend means. What you did at Calvary was 2,000 years ago. How you died on the cross for our sins and rose from the grave. And we give you all the glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you.